Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to Mod Wars. Uh, it's an arcane duels octagon tournament where we have uh, messed with a bunch of the rules and made it just a super interesting thing for just a ton of players that have played this game for years. Uh, I am Koshade. I will be helping commentate today. Uh, with me today is Shark. What's going on, Shark? Oh, hello. And we have Puddinhead. How are you, Puddinhead? Doing well. I'm enjoying this tournament more than I think I've enjoyed most of the other tournaments we've done. Well, you're about to enjoy a Beastmaster versus Beastmaster match Wait, here. Neither of them is playing green. What's up with that, man? Uh, there's a specific rule that if you play, that you can't play green tokens unless you're playing a nature mage. <laughs> but none of them chose to play those green tokens. This rule is enforceable by law. Super yep. disappointed in this. <laughs> DQ'd. DQ'd if you put green on and you aren't playing a nature mage. Uh, that being said, Straywood versus Straywood, this match could go... You could have a Swarm Straywood. You could have a Martial Artist Straywood. There's tons of options. So I'm curious you know what I want to see? What about a Martial Swarm? Martial Swarm. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What do you want to see, Putin? I want to see a Feed the Crawlithor versus a uh, Pet Crab. Oh my god. Pet Crabs are awesome. <laughs> pet Crab would be great in this. I would absolutely love that. They're expensive, that. but they're awesome. And uh, I, let me see here. I have a I have a crab book that I really It looks really like, like we have the perspective of Rob Murray, and he's going to be in the top left. It looks like. Yeah. And the bottom Shoot right is Shoe Puff. Shoe Puff is purple. Man after my own heart. Rob Murray. Rob Murray. Um, he has asked to commentate. I'm hoping we can give him one of the, at least one of the, these games during the. Oh, yeah, uh, we should do that. Uh, during the course of this tournament, just because I want to hear his thoughts, man. Rob Murray, you rock. Every game I've watched, I'm like, heck it is yeah, nice Rob Murray. Here outside of our own, uh... sometimes he literally rocks. Yeah, plus, <laughs> yeah, he threw <laughs> lots of rocks in the last game. I remember. <laughs> you know it, man. Which would vary. Uh, interesting first choice. This is probably really popular when it came out, and it's still pretty good today because the Beastmaster just always has a use for this card. Hmm. Um, fairies you can though play a bear now. Ooh. No. That's a good point. Not this turn. And the layer comes out in the top, layer. Uh, top middle of the left side for the um, for Rob Murray here, and it looks like um, this layer positioning kind of speaks as a method of like I don't want to get too aggressive yet, but I do want to be further forward just so I can save some movement actions. So kind of yeah. interesting choice there. Enchantment ring or enchanter's ring comes down for Murray as well. Yep. I would expect an enchantment from uh, Shoop up here. Can you know. pet Isambilla? Here comes the Steel oh, Claw Club. So no, yeah, let's yeah, talk about can. that. You can now pet Isambilla. So Farkas Good in the time. chat. How you doing, Farkas? Hope you're doing well, man. <laughs> Saying we should we need a pet Suzruka or Isambilla. There is no legendary trait. That's it's right. It's been replaced with unique, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so petting is gonna get really interesting, and um, yeah, I mean we're gonna be able to pet all sorts of things, and I'm hoping to see something crazy in this match. Yeah, someone has to go nuts with it, right? I don't know. Like, and I totally forgot that Stray would be Star Master has quick summoning, so I was expecting an enchant with the quick cast, but it was a level one creature. Uh, cubs are solid, man. Honestly, like cubs are like. The four mana They're getting two armor solid five. pets, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they just. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if the matriarch is worth it, really. But uh, I don't know. Cubs are good pets just because they're cheap as hell and they do a decent amount. They get rid of guards he, he really well. Or yeah, just... he didn't put pet on that one. No, he didn't. There's no pets just out he yet. He would be a good pet. That's all. Um, Fargus says that his favorite rule for this is the legendary rule. I want to see more pets, man. I want to see the priest just bring out this angel of just. Death or Dorseus, of course. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, I'm looking. I'm sorry. Dorseus, Holy Avenger. How cool would that be? Oh my gosh, Justin. I'm terrible. I, I keep game. forgetting he's going to do a Falcon. <laughs> this is so unheard of. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's so unheard of. That being said, um, <laughs> we do have a Falcon come out. And this is a, a really just solid level one creature anyone doesn't know. You can pet them. You don't have to. They're just going to deal damage. Or they take away good attack spells. And we see swarms come out. Uh-oh. Bees. Oh my god, the swarm. 
Bees. Um. Yeah. So bees. Bees is right. adjusted. In this turn. All of them are. Swarms are, yeah. We're going to see that This is kind of why bees. I don't particularly like Witch Witch Fairy because it telegraphs where you're going. Oh, yeah. Oh, it totally does. Um, so bees, interesting enough, uh, I actually don't think are that good against swarms. And these bears, like, he could try and poke them, but they are probably going to be guarding and they'll counter. I mean, if they want to go after the fairy, I guess. I don't know. There's not fairy really... Has a, no, fairy has a dodge. Yeah, I mean, like, I guess going after the Beastmaster is your best bet, but, I mean, I mean, really, four dice critical... We'll have to see how the how Shoepuff wants to respond to that, because that's kind of their strength, right? Is the critical, elusive, yeah, and I'm not dice. too worried about it. It's if I see, I don't know if I would even play bees against the Nature Mage, because you've got Spray of Barbs in school. Spray of Barbs, you have the Boomerang. Spray of Barbs is really good against bees. Yeah. Uh, I think I mean, even... It, it's cheaper than the bees, and it does two damage. Thing. Isn't there a yeah, weapon yeah. that's in Nature that has reach? Isn't it... Yeah, the Vine yeah, Staff. Vine but... staff. That's yeah. right, the Vine Staff, yeah. I, I, I know a lot of people staff. who run the Mage Staff, yeah. Mage Staff is the way to go, because that's your cheapest ethereal, plus your melee uh, bonus combo. But we'll have to see what's going to happen here. Um, Pet Bear Matriarch is definitely a possibility on the table. Um, it's probably the only way I'd play Matriarch. With a pet? Yeah. Totally. She just dies a little bit too fast for my liking. But, um, that being said, so the Ring of Beast just says there's probably not going to be a lair. And we'll probably see at least one more animal creature a turn. Yeah, probably. Well, a you can use animals. the ring and the Witchwood Fairy on the same creature. Yes, you can. And yeah. if, as you can see, Shoepuff having 29 mana right now. But even then, like, you can cow. use the same creature, but like they're going to be level 1, so you can quick cast them. Yeah. Um, In all likelihood. I'm not saying every time, but... No deployment out of Rob Murray here. And then no quick cast either. Guard tokens getting added. Everyone's guarding back here. It looks like uh, shoe pups. Pests, pests guarding doesn't do anything, does it? It we lets him a have a counter. Attack. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I mean, it's, if he's not moving, you might as well do it, right? Yeah, that's true, I guess. We see a second B. This uh -oh. is dangerous. Um, having having two, I guess two's the limit, but like having multiple Bs in one zone always gets dangerous, just because. Uh, Zone attacks will just they'll they'll annihilate them really fast. Yeah. That uh, being uh, said, fourteen mana on two mana. bees is yeah it, it evens out pretty much because you would have gotten yeah. attacked you would have had an, a, the ability to attack with them probably. Yeah. And then there was you know, always spending nine mana at least on an area of effect attack. There's some there's a lot of strategy into how you place your bears. Or how, well, how you place your your bees just to make sure that they mitigate bees damage. Ma hey, pet matriarch. So here oh, we damn. go. The pet goes down on this matriarch, putting out what four armor and four armor, fourteen health, 14? four base attack. That's five in the beastmaster zone. Seven Pretty with those up there for eleven mana plus what? And I'm four? guessing there's going to be another. Yep. That's I, mean, snack, actually, I want to see this work. That's a plus <laughs> That's three matriarch plus a pet token. So oh, the interesting thing is the bees God. actually work pretty well against the matriarch because she has a million health. Yeah. A million uh, <laughs> <You're> right. armor. <laughs> Matriarch's like, no, bees. My one weakness. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could imagine Shupuff casting a couple more cubs and then just teleporting Rob Marie in here and maul her to death. The teleport to Doom, I think, is, is or just a, a straight huge up steel strategy. claw grizzly would be good, too. Oh, yeah. Please have that. I'll get the whole family. Yeah, get the whole family, man. <laughs> this is his Bernstein book. This this bed was too soft. This bed was too firm. <laughs> oh my god. This one is just right. It just happens to be the Cubs thing. When there's four of them, oh god, they're mauling me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come here, Goldilocks. <laughs> yeah, right. I would have loved to have like I think everyone's made like a, a wolf book before, but you rarely see the bear book go down. You know, like everyone's done the red claw with the foxes and the the timberwolves sort of thing. Yeah. All right, we are I would have loved to see a kinship book too. That would have been fun. Oh, kinship is so fun. There's man. no reason it can't still turn into one. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I mean, Shoepuff has 22 mana still, so we could see all sorts of things. We could see more matriarchs come out. 
for all we know. Also true. Um, yeah, because so, that's not unique. <laughs> yep. And there are a lot of flyers out for Rob Murray. So this is going to be kind of like a flyer versus, you know, tough ground force. So it'll be kind of interesting to see how that pans out. Uh, grab a core work. Grab a core? Absolutely, actually. I mean, nature before barbed wire kind of struggled unless you had flying creatures to deal with that. You mean spray of barbs? Oh, yeah. What did I say? Barbed wire. Barbed wire. You just throw <laughs> which, barbed wire. Which, which, which sounds like a war school spell, <laughs> but that doesn't actually yeah. exist. I mean, well, barbed wire is awesome, not gonna lie. I take the barbed wire. I mean, you got wall of pikes, but it's not barbed wire. Barbed wire would be better. I believe barbed it wire is. would be a war school with wall of thorns. I imagine it'd be like wall of spears, but just less. <laughs> Or both ways, I guess. I don't know. You're really gonna make me get you. Oh man, the trade off here. I mean, I I think with shoe puff, he could just keep the combo up by just well, getting more. Those cubs bees and... are elusive, so he can just go hit whatever he wants to. And the bears are pests, so it doesn't block. Or the cubs are pests, at least. Yeah, the cubs so, are pests. So see how he's spreading out these bees. This is exactly what you want to do when you play bees. Is just make sure that their damage can't be hit with one big area attack and just making sure that it's just sort of, you know, they can always sort of cover each other in a weird way. Uh, Matrix going to block. This is Ooh, a... Uh, third bees. Oh, we're seeing four. Oh, we're totally going to see a fourth. All right, let's see. What kind of creature are we going to see now? A second what? Matriarch. What is the point of the layer? And you another cub. Oh my god, got some there's falcons. so many. I would, yeah, start teleport shenanigans right now. I mean, yeah. this is a lot of damage potential. Let's see. Next turn, uh, Shoot Puff is going to have 18 mana. Yep. He could easily teleport and tangle vine. I mean, let's see. So, seven, seven dice from this matriarch, uh, nine dice from this one, and then additional two from each of these cubs. That's eight. And there is no armor out for Rob Murray. Yeah, that's dangerous. It's super dangerous. And there's not even an enchantment that protects him. Yeah, he needs to enchant himself this turn with a nullify. Uh, that's probably, probably what he's thinking about doing. If he runs it. I mean, at this point in time, do you really need a fourth B? You know, <laughs> like... No. I mean, maybe... No, you, you, need, you need about nine armor right now. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my god. <laughs> a brace yourself won't even save you. No. Here we go. He's going to teleport yep. him. There, there it is. is. <laughs> he just walks up one. <laughs> just like, bam. <laughs> and Shoe Puff still has uh, 10 mana. It is the action phase. He is going to use his quick cast, immediately tangle binding him. <laughs> oh, no. no. Now, I know Hopefully you guys be prepared to teleport. I know you guys can't see how long this game is going to end, but I will tell you, we're not even halfway through. <laughs> so let's see what happens here. Allergies to bears. Oh my god! I love the banter between both of them. Yeah, Rob's a good guy, and I like Shoot Puff too. All right, we're going to see an enchantment go down to this thunder rift. And I'm guessing it's elusive. Because you wouldn't fly in the zone unless it was. What would he attack? Though? Lion Savagery? A cub. I think. Panther Self? A cub, yeah. Oh, there's elusive. Oh, he's going to go after Tangle Vine. Oh. I see him just nuke a cub. Uh, there's Take five dice. Down a bit. That's what I was thinking, but maybe it's... There should it's... be seven dice. Uh, three, oh, no. four, five. Yeah, five. That's fine. Five dice going down, doing five damage to that single vine. It is still up with three yeah. life remaining. That's not the pet one. Steel Claw Matriarch goes, all right. Time to hit you with seven dice. Yeah, interesting you didn't choose the pet first, but that's fine. Seven dice, ten damage going through on that. <laughs> oh my god! Putting Rob Murray at ten out of 36. Holy cow. That is so bad. <laughs> that is... Rough. Oh, is my timer up here broken? Oh my. Maybe it is more than halfway done. Let's see. Nah, I think we're... Alright, these, these cubs here are going in with this two dice. 
Again, no armor, so this is all just going to go through. Two more damage. 12 out of 36. Wow. Oh my this god. Is, this is your classic death pit book. Yeah, right this, this is one of those books that you played when you first start the game, and you're like, oh, I just died of that. <laughs> the bees are going to come in. Uh, rolling two dice. You should roll some more. <laughs> uh, so, it, so just in case everyone's wondering, with swarms, it is your health remaining plus one. So you should get a total of four dice. Yeah, you should probably just manual the dice too. Yeah, because they're, they're all critical anyway. Critical elusive flying. That's so good. Mm-hmm. No, he wanted to roll one and be like, yep, another damage for you. Yep. <laughs> I did three. Steel Claw Club coming in, rolling two dice, getting four more damage. Holy cow. Rob Murray at 16 out of 36. Dude, these cubs and bears are mad, man. Uh, Falcon's going to come up. Hits uh, Shoe Puffs Beastmaster. Lion Savagery getting revealed. Uh, he should have rolled five. Totally only rolled three. He blanked it, too. Holy cow. So two more dice this need to come out. does not feel good. Oh my god, one he blanked molded. another Ouch. one. It's going to be a rough... Oh man. A rough round. Oh my god, the Steel Claw Club then rolling two, getting zero dice. Yeah. Uh, whiffing it as well. Dude, that just feels bad. I wasn't even... I'm not even playing, and I, I know that awful feeling there. Another two damage from a cub. Uh, or two dice, three damage going through. Rob Murray at 19 out of 36. And we have the Matriarch waiting to deal the okay. nine dice attack. Oh my. And yeah, it looks like his Beastmaster is going to just aim for that Tangle Vine. I want to know if he has an area of effect spell. Because... That would be pretty funny. Next round, he's like Hailstones. Guards, uh, he can attack his own Tangle Vine. Yeah, it's on. It's attached to you. You can attack it. Mm. So that should be four dice. It should go down. He's no. going to pass. Oh. That was daring. Which would Fury is doing damage to? Dude. <laughs> That's like one of these, like, the cubs are, like, gnawing off limbs, and the, and the fairy's just like, I zap your eye. You know? Just, like, totally a mean fairy. Look, look at how mean that fairy looks. Fairy looks blood, man. <laughs> blood in the water. <laughs> blood in the water. <laughs> Good. I think you can attack with your mage. Yeah, you can. Dude, this game feels over, man. I don't want to call it over yet. I know. There's a theoretical swing possibility, but it's not looking good. Oh, I, mean, I didn't even know the Matrix. Yeah, the Matrix is coming in with oh, no. eight dice. Getting <laughs> only a only four. Damage. four. Oh, <laughs> Robert, four. thank God. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude. Wow. When you get abducted, man, it hurts. Right. That was 24 damage in one <laughs> round. <laughs> Uh, Rob Murray's got to do something, or he is just out, man. Yeah, and you got to know that Chupuff is been teleport next turn. I mean, he's got tons of damage potential with these bees. He just he yeah. needs his mage to survive right now. That's like one of the big things he needs to do. I mean, here's the thing, right? Like, how do you deal with the cubs? Like, obviously the matriarch you'd want to kill because it's so does so much damage. But like, I don't know, like. Well, every cub you kill is less damage from the matriarch yep. and from the cubs. You kill the cubs first. Yeah. It's kind of thematic, I guess. You well, know? because you're you're more likely to be able to kill them with one attack mm -hmm. using the bees than you are, or with the um, birds. I mean, you've got... Um, At least a one. combo. Yeah. It's like a combo of falcon bird. Or falcon bird. Bee, falcon. Falcon bees. Could kill a cub. First, first time the birds and the bees have killed <laughs> a baby. 
Oh my god. <laughs> That's so true. Man, you've been saving that one up, haven't you? Dude. <laughs> that was a great joke right there. Um, we're just going to go ahead and speed this up. Because I think this is obviously a big run for Rob Murray to not die. And he is going to deploy a Falcon out of his, uh, his lair here. Not petting it. And immediately Rob Murray uses his quick cast. He's going to immediately just teleport out. He's getting out of there. And he, notice how he teleports down to the left. He wants to try and get as far away as possible. Gravicor goes down. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> All the bees. He's going to get eaten. Interesting, he chose... <laughs> the bears. <laughs> the bears are just going to eat all the bees. Interesting, he chose this corner here. Um, it not smell like honey. Down here. Because um, you cover more range down here, but maybe he wanted to get the layer zone as well. Well, the bees can kill it real fast. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Falcon is going to go in. He can't actually do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. He is a hindered hindered dude. Now, this one down here is a panther stealth, so he could, but... Yeah, no, he should he should go in there with that one. Yeah, like right oh, now? The, yeah. the, the one that's with all the bears, he should go in there and attack the... Yeah, because he's about to die. Yeah. If he doesn't. Bees are going to attack or first instead. Do it. Uh, this is going to be critical damage. Rolls two, gets... It should be four. You can manual it, but it's a little weird if you haven't done it before. Uh, 1,000 stings onto a rock. Manages to deal some damage. Alright, he nearly kills it with that one bee attack. Gets five, he needs six. Wow, those bees are great at killing conjurations. Yup. The bees are really good. Yeah, I mean, I mean, anything with high armor is just going to get wrecked by bees. And of course, Taking immediately out. when you kill this, all these fires come back. So the Matrix is going to move up and guard. Not useful. Yeah, that, that is a There's Panther Stealth. Panther Stealth on that Falcon there. Yeah, I would, I would call this a misplay here. Yep, and he's going to go right for that Gravicor. So, wow, his bears aren't going to get a chance to attack anything. And there it is, the one damage he needed. Yeah, he needed to attack the bird with that matriarch. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Uh, there is a card out for Shoe Puff, and he does have six mana, so theoretically he has a teleport waiting. Uh, the matriarch does move first to hinder this Beastmaster. I... It's an interesting one. Yeah, keep him in place. Or, not in place, but... Yeah, I, I mean, if he doesn't move this Beastmaster, Rob Murray, right now, like he risks a bunch of potential damage here. And the bees are coming against this uh, this bear here, getting three damage. damage. Three? Okay. Nice. Yeah, and they're just going to swarm in and just go for this bear. A two additional damage, and the cubs are piling in. And this is like one of those moments where it's like, oh, bees, yeah, that's right. They can kind of just do damage passively, can't they? That's why? Kill a bear. Yeah, so this falcon's going to go after the Witchwood Fairy, and uh, it dodges. Like fairies do. Just ignore the fairy. Yeah, the fairy doesn't usually do that much, right? Another bear cub comes out. Bear book. There's so many bears. <laughs> <laughs> No, right? Like I'm I'm curious on what I'm just glad somebody ran this kind of a book. I'm sorry. And here's another teleport. He's just teleporting <laughs> twice. Holy cow, he didn't even move. Yeah. What why didn't he move? I feel like he could have just moved one and paid three. Panic. Yeah, that was a panic <laughs> play right there, dude. Rob Murray is sweating out. <laughs> pay three oh, extra yeah. mana. I don't think that was even necessary. I, I agree. I think he could have moved one. And just, it's still okay. awesome in all cases. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're right, though. That was just a panic play. Right. Him with bears, I don't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> if bears and bees, like even if they're friendly bees, let's be honest, they're kind of intimidating when they're just a swarm of 2,000 bees above you. 
um, the the bees killing that matriarch makes those cubs a lot less dangerous, especially if Rob Murray can get some armor on. That's true. But he is at 24 out of 36. He needs armor and <sighs> has right, no armor right now. Has no equipment, no enchantments. So, oh my god, both of them have not buffed their mages at all. <laughs> wow. This is ridiculous. Like, it's a pure animal book for both. <laughs> I love it. And I like how the non-layer player has more creatures out. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know? All right, here we go. No deployment. Twelve mana is enough for regrowth and chitin armor. Here we go. Some sort of enchantment getting up, uh, applied to Rob Murray. Beastmaster takes a step, decides not to. He's within range of those beasts if he does that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a fair <laughs> point. And yeah, the Matrix going to book it because he doesn't want to lose that to bees. Which, that's that's a solid bet. That's true, too. Those bees are going to do some work. Now he just needs to stink. move and teleport uh, Rob back into this. Oh my god, he can, too. I don't know. The the matriarch chasing him makes me think that he doesn't have that. I mean, this fairy... Oh, yeah. Because now the bears fairy. are all spread out, and interestingly enough, the falcons have advantage here. Yeah. Being able to get the lion savages on both of them has been really yeah. useful here, especially with the piercing. I think he should use the bees up north and attack the bees mister. Just start laying out some damage. Yeah. Let's see that. Speaking of beast masters, I have a little beast here now. A little kitten. Don't. Joining us in the match today. Uh, don't turn off the stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good timing. What's up, doggo? How you doing, buddy? Hey. Hey, look, it's it's an animal book. This is where you would come in. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You're just looking understand. at me like, why the hell are we not in bed? I, I don't What's understand these moves at all. Uh, Falcons are surrounding the Beastmaster. Looks like we have a Tangle Vine going down against the um, Ooh, Rob Murray. That's bad. Uh, yeah. Keeping him in place is exactly what Chupov wants here. And uh, these bears are going to just take advantage of that. Yeah. Hey, that will do it. Oh, no. You could, is he's he going to concede? Four, he's got four dice. He can kill the Tangle Vine in one hit if he, if he rolls well. And he's got all these, these Falcons, too. I mean, he would have to roll really well to kill the Tangle Vine in one hit. I think it's more of uh, the fact that he's surrounded that he's getting a little worried. And he used two teleports last round. I imagine he doesn't have yeah. many more. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a lot of teleports he's in one round. Maybe it's upheaval. Oh, that would help. Upheaval would be good. It's That's actually a really good spell, too. Uh, for, like, pretty much any book. But I, you know what I see? Here we go. Is I see Shoepuff has gotten his things into a position to damage. And that entire turn, Rob Murray spent his turn not doing damage. Yep. Like he just yeah. ran away from everything. And these bees, these falcons, they could have all hit things along the, the way. He could have done so much damage to the Beastmaster or killed some cubs or something. Yeah, I, I actually really agree with you there. Um, that being said, oh man, because that's the thing is like he has to start taking out these cubs. You know, he, he needs to like dismantle and unravel. All the shoe puffs. Stuff. That would be great. Here's uh, Ring of Fire, ironically. For yeah. which mage? I'm like pretty both. sure he uh, doesn't yes. run it though, because it's <laughs> both of them. <laughs> <laughs> I know yeah. it's a triple thing. I just think it'd be funny. It would be good. Druids exist. Would be There's good a too. reason to cast it, you know. I mean, I would run it. But we still haven't well, seen a pet out of Rob Murray as well, and he's at 21 mana now. Shoe puff at twenty. That would be really good to have right now, though a pet won't help you on the turn. You're probably about to die. So yeah, it's it's really been my it doesn't help you recover. <laughs> it's, like... it's been my experience that you just you run pets if you're not yeah. planning on casting anything crazy. Like you just yeah. you just put them on whatever you have. You know, you put the damn, if you pet the falcon, he could be like destroying the. Um... He could be killing a cub around. That's yeah, what I mean the cubs. Yeah, round by round and Join... potentially limiting the damage. Yeah, joint strength, uh, yeah. pet. You know, you could just. I, I think honestly, these cubs are intimidating to look at. 
I mean, honestly, two armor, five life. Like, you oftentimes think that it's like, oh, man, I don't know if I can get past that. But, you know, these bees with the critical damage, that's almost killing it immediately. And, you know, bee falcon hit, like, just start comboing them together. And you can just take out a cub per combo around, and he's got at least three of those combos. So, uh, looks like we have a Dark Fiend Owl coming out. That's an interesting one. Yeah, this is sort of the, um, you know, like, I want to actually specifically make sure you can't heal. And usually you see it on Dark Books, but, uh, you know, I think it's cool casting here. Oh, this Matriarch, man. Not sure where he wants to go. Being force pushed to the right, that indicates that we're going to teleport up. Is there no teleport? Oh, no, oh, no teleport. No, dude. <laughs> He's trying to like block it as much as he can. And I mean, these cubs are in here just like, all right, let's let's gnaw his face, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a There's effort, no right? armor either. Yep, there's, he does Unless have enchantment. I mean, that might be Brace, so that's fine. Uh, brace, Rhino Hide, it could be all those things. Oh no. oh no! But he's prepping. <laughs> he's prepping for armor. Oh, no. Now, uh, corrosive orchid. I don't think he should be using this right now. Um, he no. should be waiting no, for armor. No, he shouldn't be. Like he I mean, should be trying to get extra. This. I mean, it just it did just put a bunch. Why of did he reveal him. this? Uh, no. Stop the one. But he took a corrode. I know. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he should. Oh my God! No, Rob Murray. He took a lot of. What are you doing? <laughs> a lot of like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. So let's let's review that. I think Rob Murray is sweating bullets in this game. So basically, this corrosive work had attacked him, and he did some damage, but he revealed Rhino Hide in the meantime, giving him armor. I mean, it two. effectively stopped two damage, which at this point makes sense considering he has. But he might uh, take uh, four or more from I all know, these. I know. Uh, two Call of the Wild gets played from Shoe Puff. All of these cubs getting uh, the plus one. Wait, and... wait, wait. No. Oh, it's all friendly. Never mind. I was like, doesn't it buff all? I oh, need? that was so like, beautiful. It, it was all. Everything? <laughs> but yeah, all these cubs are now rolling one additional one. This one gets four critical damage. Doesn't even matter if he took those corrodes or not. Right. Uh, the bees are coming in. They're trying to deal, deal damage to Shoe Puff. And oh, they actually get four damage. This is actually pretty nice. Uh, there is no, is no armor out. And this is just a slugfest. Oh, Another man, cub rolls three. Everything. The cub is disappointed that his mother is separated and rolls zero damage out of three. Very disappointed. Uh, here comes another falcon just saying, you know um, what? That's an interestingly large oh, amount of damage. What? <laughs> Look at this. Rob Mori rolling five dice, <laughs> getting seven damn eight damage through. <laughs> no, <laughs> what is happening in this game? I don't know. <laughs> three dice this is just spit firing this. Uh, another cl dude, uh, cub comes dude. in, rolls three dice, gets six damage. It's gonna end because five of that fairy does it. <laughs> Rob Murray, oh my God, please fairy win this game. <laughs> Rob Murray is at thirty-five out of thirty-six. A fairy is coming in with one dice. There is one armor. It it whiffs the die. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay. Shoe Puff saying I wanted this to kill you. It still is possible. I mean, honestly, <laughs> this Steel Claw Matrix should just walk through his wall of thorns and just chill. It That's... takes a full action to walk through. It right? does, yeah, but he should just do it just to get through here now. Um... Yeah. <laughs> What's happening Kills in this game? Kills the bear cup. See, B... if he had been doing that earlier. Yep, one attack from that bee, taking out a cub. This Matrix is going to walk through that wall of thorns. It should roll, what is it, two dice? Or two attacks of two dice. Um, but it does have armor, so it's just going to take a damage. Uh, but next round, it'll be able to just maul. And uh, so we're looking at Shoe Puff at the end of that shenanigans. That went by really fast here. Uh, Shoe Puff at 23 out of 36. Rob Murray at 35 out of 36. And his Tangle Vine. What just happened in this round? <laughs> Oh my god. You no, know it would be really funny right now. What? Is if Rob Murray managed to pull off a teleport. Yes. That would be <laughs> and, so and win the game with bees. It is Shoe Puff's initiative. <laughs> nah, yeah, it's not gonna happen. So I'm fairly certain, I'm fairly certain that Shoe Puff well. can do one damage before Rob Murray can get away from his I stuff. Mean, we're yeah. probably gonna see a boulder, maybe a... uh Spray of barbs, something like that, but quick cast is the time to just lay it out here. Let's get rid of that call of the wild. Uh, Rob Murray does cast another falcon. Yeah, it should be gone. And here we go. The attack spell it 
it's a some sort of curse. Um, Jinx. Jinx, maybe a uh, uh, was a healing one, unholy reversal, or or a, or mage pain. And that means Rob Murray. Oh my God, Rob Murray is gonna get a chance to heal himself. Let's see if there's a nullify. What happens here? Poison blood. Oh, he just enchant. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm so that. Uh, Jinx is being asked for. I'm sorry, I just revealed it to everyone. I'm a terrible person. Um, I didn't do it on purpose. Gator toughness gets revealed now, putting him up to two armor and 38 life. Corrosive mist goes down, dealing no damage and no corrodes. Very important here. And then the matrix is going to be like, time to kill you. Um, sets his damage up one, and there's the death blow. Wow, that it. was a big old death blow, too. <laughs> he <laughs> and damage. did it. Yep. Ending it with one. a Matriarch rolling, what was it? Three, I will four, point five, out six, that seven. it's actually a fairly close game by damage because Rob was still able to pile up one John to shoot up in the process. I know! It was like, That's he awesome. just decided to get Could the damage. Could you imagine what would have happened if he hadn't wasted an entire turn just yep. moving guys? I was thinking the same yeah, thing, man. Yeah. Boulder or something instead, too. There was times over here, he could have just landed random, you know, four, three or four dice attacks, or whatever the yeah. Falcons are rolling five dice, and that would have added up. Yep. That would have been, that'd been nuts. Like, if, if Shoe Puff was, like, two life away from death... Maybe Rob Murray could have just bouldered him. It's true. Could be interesting. I mean, it's still interesting. It was a pretty good fight still. This was, <laughs> was like... Slug festival. This, this is what you think out of Beastmaster, right? Just like a ton of animals, and they just sort of like clash into each other, and then one person dies. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright. So yeah, that's this game. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that game as much as I did, because... Bees. That was pretty fun. I mean, we saw an owl. That was pretty fun. Um, <laughs> That's true. We saw the owl. <laughs> so I just wanted to thank you guys for joining us in this Mod Wars tournament. We do have a bunch more games on our YouTube. There's a whole playlist of Mod Wars stuff. So if you want to see all the action, uh, if you're watching this, it just got released. We're, we're in the May of 2020 here. Uh, we are we still have a ton of games to go through. We haven't even gotten to the elimination stage. So I hope you guys are enjoying this tournament. Uh, feel free to check out our Discord. Uh, the whole, you know, Mage Wars community is kind of hanging out there on the online group. Uh, I always leave a link in the description. So feel free to join it. If you guys want to play Octagon, people are willing to teach you. It's not that hard after you, you know, commit maybe half an hour to an hour of learning how to play it. Um, yeah, but otherwise, yeah, thanks for joining us, guys. Um, thanks, everybody. Yeah. See you guys. And uh, thanks again for Shark and Putin for, for helping me out in this. Always. You guys rock. Yes, sir.